Alrighty, howdy gamers and welcome back to Phoenix Wright. Uh, last time, uh, we finished the Steel Samurai one. And we're gonna get started on the next one. Uh, this one. Oh god, that was, <laughs> that was like so long ago. <laughs> Let's do it. <clears throat> It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? the Merry Christmas that got me. <clears throat> the Merry Christmas while pointing a gun at someone. That that really that really got me. Alright. <clears throat> December 25th, 10 08 a.m. Right in cool offices. <laughs> that was way funnier than it needed to be. <clears throat> hey hey Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls. Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? No, because I don't want to be asking. And your waterfall to stand under. Prefer over there freezing one. Oh. And is that part of your spirit medium training? Well, considering the fact that it's December right now, and apparently the six was in Japan, it should be too hard. <coughs> <coughs> of course. Except I've been slacking off lately. Eight birth elements and be forged anew. Under the rushing spring waters. Okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Ford Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Oh, you yeah, for those are breaks. Maybe just take a cold shower or something. Good idea. So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news a large, unidentifiable animal has been sighted at Ford Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Folks are calling it Gordy. In a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Well, his namesake, Nessie, proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. Boring. <laughs> Did they show real news for a change? <clears throat> Nick. Hmm? You know what if we're just gonna lower the shower? Pressure, huh? I'd go down to the fire department and have them spray with the hose. Good idea! No, it's not! Apparently, if they blood is no aid. Oh, is no aid to detect these sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Future occurrences continue at Gord Lake. But this time, it's murder! More there. Gord Lake again. The body of a man was found in the lake earlier this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth. Age 20. When did Edgeworth show up? <laughs> Why is he here? <coughs> oh, God. Edgeworth was an up and coming prosecutor, known for his skills and connections. He has guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Edgeworth. What's going on? I feel like you just watched the news. You just read the same thing I did. Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Uh, Maya? If I had yelled at me when I called it... We got bigger things to worry about than that. <coughs> they arrested Edgeworth. 
What? You mean the prosecutor? Yes, he's suspect. And I'm more there. What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Uh, but as always, we have to ask stupid questions. What do we do? What would we do? What do you mean? Let's investigate. We should talk to Mr. Edgeworth. Let's check out the crime scene. <coughs> You're right, we need more info. Save aimlessness and a future for later. Any ideas? Well, got any good ideas? Not really. I do my best thinking it was standing underneath a waterfall. Yeah, it's really been working out for you. Favorite plant. His name is Charlie. Might have found the Naga water in Italy. Has been freaking out these days. This is clean day again at the hotel across the way. They're either planning a second branch outside of the city. It's in the billboard. Getting the angle of the screwdriver in the door just right. I brought this. I brought in a poster of the Steel Samurai the other day. I had a big fight over whether to put it up or not. I'm actually just wondering, waiting for a chance to sneak it up on the wall. Not in my office. They call a king legal book stand in a formidable row. They mocked me. I tried reading one, and it made my head hurt. I it, it slipped out of my hand. And my foot hurt too. The yes, desk. I got more clients. I'd probably sit here more often. Then I've been spending more time on the couch watching TV. If it works, it works. Alright, let's actually talk with Edgeworth. Oh wait, do we have stuff? Nah. Alright, whole new chapter. It's up 25th, Detention Center. Visitor's room. You know, Nick. We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's the thing we should mention to too many people. <laughs> His head is so small. I forgot. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God. What's that movie? I think it's Beetlejuice with the guy with like the super tiny head. And that's what he reminds me of. <clears throat> Did Edgeworth just leave? Hey, Edgeworth, come back. What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, me neither, so let's go. Oh, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney, prosecutor. And laugh. Laugh. <laughs> well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah. It's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time. Oh. We don't have so much free time, we could spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. And actually, he's right. <coughs> I hope you won't come. I didn't want you to see me. God, this is so coded. Not like this. It's so coded. I don't want to see you like this either, believe me. Of course, we need to look at this guy. <coughs> Guard monitors the visitor's room. Every an inch as I came in, a real pro. I deserve it with Edgeworth in the room. Go for the camera. Yeah, I think that's everything. Alright. Good talk with this man. What happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you gonna do about it? Duh. What can I help you? That's what. Help me. You. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be rude! I'm sorry. You're a novice. 
You've only been in three trials. And that was like months ago, so... Good luck remembering. Hey. You got lucky. And won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick. Why am I always the one who has to get angry? Good luck. Where took place at Gordon Lake, correct? Yes, it was last night. I'm like a long way away from your office at the courthouse. Why are you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth. You didn't really. Gorgy. <laughs> <coughs> this seems such a serious guy to say Gord is funny. Huh? I want to see Gordy. Gordy? What? I'll tell you later. Let Edgeworth talk to us. Take that! Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ah. Ah. Good one, right. But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. So coded. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a what behind the ears lawyer that only has three trials under his belt. Never. The fact that I'm playing this game right now tells me you're about to eat your words. What? My case is never hopeless, right? <clears throat> the defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. Literally, I'm right here. What? But they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lost confidence. After all, I didn't get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Yeah, this I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Ah, <sighs> fine. <coughs> Did you do it? It's really hard for me to ask. But you didn't do it right. Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Hmm? Stay out of this case. Why? But I can try and help you. I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? You just go away and leave me alone. Nick. He said you did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick... He left! He left me! The obviously supposed to be boyfriend. Gotta go to Nick. <clears throat> now that's one heck of a sign. December 25th, Gord Lake Park, entrance. This is where it happened. Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of the park. I see some police walking around in there. Which means Detective Gumshoe is going to be in there too. Rushing people probably. Hey! And then Detective Gumshoe over there! <laughs> Called it. Well, pal. And enough of us here. I don't know if I found anything. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiot. Trials tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who- Shut up. Just you try saying that again. I'll, I'll, I'll make you sorry if, if you do. Just, just get out of my face, pal. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. He's having a bad day. Recruits. Ugh. Um. Hey, you're that hairy guy. Hey, boss. Right, Phoenix right. The everyone. Just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Oh, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. Seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. I think he likes Edgeworth. Um, is that Edgeworth? He hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh. I must say. 
I was looking to talk to you. What happened? Thanks for coming to you. You know what happened here. You don't know about it. No. Oh, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head of the... Uh-huh. Never mind. I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes before midnight. Happy New Year. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. <laughs> I'll keep it together. It's so funny. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth. No. Because if you looked at the shadows, they both had long hair. And clearly, his hair is short. Except for the weird bang thing he has going. So, I don't think so. Capu arrived on the scene and arrested him. How did they get that? How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. And when the reporter came in, he raced to the lake. A witness? A witness? Who was the witness? Sorry, right, pal. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. The other will turn up at the trial tomorrow. <clears throat> There's only that one witness. Yep, it was pretty cold out there only the last night. And it was Christmas Eve after all. Still, we bring it around. You never know what you're gonna turn up. And when Oh my god. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. Oh what it's like to so much. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far we're coming up empty. No! It's Christmas today, I'd forgotten. What are you getting for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. Uh, Edgeworth. You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe the look of it. Right! Who cares what the witness says? I care! <laughs> we need the witness! <laughs> I really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help Mr. Edgeworth has been to us, I right to imagine there is no one standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Fetch request. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edgeworth's case. Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost your reputation, be sure to suffer. It's more. Case against him is... It's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal. I'm gonna tell you gotta turn your back on him, too. I'm afraid that's still Samurai case. Mr. Edgeworth helped you to get your client declared innocent. I know. I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, it doesn't make any sense, pal. Should I heard him talking about you after the trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Oh my. Why wouldn't he want to help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? No, sir. Not yet. There's a call for the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right, I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. It's your heard. I gotta go. No last things you want to ask me before I head out. I'll take your report. Yes, do you have any information about the victim? Sorry. I haven't worked up the autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Actually. Hey. If you have the time, drop by the precinct. We can talk more there, pal. 
You're not coming back, detective. Probably not, pal. So what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Alright, here. I'll show you how to get your research. Come down and see me anytime. Which is the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? We'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there is something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, I don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right, now let's get to investigating. <clears throat> I feel winter's chill from the leaf bear trees today. <sighs> what is it about winter that turns people into poets? Oh, the depression. Oh no, but my toes starting to feel numb. Yeah, my poetry has a lot of effect on some people. This is Gord Lake National Park. Place is full of families picnicking on the weekend. But no waterfall. How many picnickers come here for spiritual training, Maya? Was it really unfortunate? I feel like they should. Alright, that's enough. Move. Yeah, fine. Be elsewhere. I didn't want to be here anyway. Go to the beach. <coughs> Samurai dog. Seven twenty fifth, Gord Lake Public Beach. Wowzers. This is Gord Lake. I don't think I've ever seen Wowzers written out. It's weird. Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Probably not. But hey, look at the snack stand. Samurai dogs. I don't want a samurai dog, please. Look at the great. The name looks samurai dog. How could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know? Nope. Wow, Gord Lake is really big. Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Gord Lake? Oh, well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Oh, no way. I sure it's because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. No, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually. That's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Cool. <clears throat> Someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string, it goes... Oh, and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, that'd be a clue. Let's take them. Come on a minute. You just want to pop them, right? Was that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. Take it. This was a good hurt. Where'd they go? Into my pocket. Poppers put in pocket. Poppers, a classic party noisemaker. Pull a string, it goes bang. Not very clue worthy. Or so the legend goes. I have a plastic benches. I guess the idea is to buy a dog and eat it here. I doubt anyone would sit here and eat on a day like this. I mean, Maya. She had a samurai dog. Hmm. I was in see the signpost. Left, boat docks. Right, exit. Trash can is empty. At least this place is well maintained. For now. Da -na -na -na. Right here. Hot dog stand. It's closed. Christmas fringe looks a little half baked. Rana reads Samurai Dogs. Something needs to redecorate. No, it looks great. I think that's all for here. Mm. Go to Woods. <coughs> I am so concerned. 
The boom mic is just so much. December 25th, Gord Lake Woods. No camping, but clearly somebody is. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. Good gut skipping at scene of murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might have something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. This SUV has seen better days. It has entered all over. I if anyone would drive their car down here. Why not? No camping. This is no camping. Find a place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait. What if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they would have signs like that. Oh. The trees have grown quite thick here. But the back of the trees fade into the shadow, where the sunlight can't reach them. There's food and some magazines on a sheet. It takes a pretty tough oh, it takes a pretty tough skin to camp in th I did read that right. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp in this cold. Hey Nick! What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No no. I'm just wondering. Why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. I'm no law saying that they have to be made out of aluminum then. I'm not having this conversation. I don't know why not. <clears throat> this camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It may s I must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool, let's try it out. <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick. I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Hmm. Nick. Will you stop that? It's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it doesn't sit for sound of voices. What then, these things? Party poppers? Well, they responded. So it needs to be a shot-like sound. Loud enough. Valid. Yeah. Hey you, get your hands off of that. Nick. What the Sam Hill? I use that all the time. Are you done? There goes a horror film. What? Uh, sorry. Sounds like I pay my bills. Y'all know how much a horror film costs. I'll pay you back. What we all think is set up a party popper in a place like this. Um. Well. What? I try to wear stupid me just because you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. <laughs> I say these southern folks talk with an exaggerated drawl. Why, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell you, it's because I may be dumb doesn't mean we are. <laughs> what a mood. Nick. Oh. And who are you now, a chaperone? Yeah, no. Rather. You're sort of friends. Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for Jesus' sake. I'd rather sit through what a uh, papa's rolls than listen to you stutter all day. Oh god. I guess we have to pay for the film. Watch it. It's him. Look at that hotel failure. I'm really sorry. Well, with this lovely introduction, I'm actually gonna end this episode here. I actually save it. Yay. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you later.